What's going on YouTube? Gsm right here. Today we're discussing of course about iOS 15 jailbreak, some more developments in the community and some important warnings. This video is brought to you by Startsoft and their software KeyPass which allows you to perform iPhone activation unlocks and of course unlock the iPhone lock screen if you forgot your passcode. Check it out in the link below. The program is available for Windows and it's pretty useful especially on older devices like the iPhone 10 and so on for the activation lock. So iOS 15.4 is out. It's been out for like half a month now and it does patch some important kernel vulnerabilities. Torin jailbreak has also been updated. There is an update that is now available. No, not for iOS 15, but there is an update available. It was released back on March 20, like five days ago. I didn't make a video at that time about it because it wasn't exactly a huge update, but the update does contain three items here. First one, it runs UI cache for Cilio for the first time users. Then it updates the built-in libhooker to 1.6.9. Nice. And it adds support for custom DYLD shared caches. That's the update, the 1.1.3. I got questions when this was released a couple of days ago, whether this would work on iOS 15, because it's an update to Torin and so on. No, it's not the update for iOS 15. That one is still in development by Coolstar, but they also posted here, quote, for your information, there will be no early build for A11 users. A8 through A15 will happen at the same time, and there will be no 15.2 beta one support. That's bad for the iOS 15.2 people, but it looks like Torin will be updated and released for iOS 15.0 up to 15.1.1 at this point, at least for a while, and it's probably going to be based on the desk race fun here, which contains the stable kernel read and write primitives by Timstar. It's an exploit based on binary boys exploit, so this would work up to 15.1.1. So expect Torin jailbreak to be updated rather soon in the upcoming weeks for iOS 15.1.1 15.1.1 and lower for all devices. Now the exploit itself works on 15.2 beta 1 as well, it's not patched there. Unfortunately other things are broken that probably Coolstar doesn't want to deal with at the moment just for one beta and as such that beta will not be supported by default. And yes I wanted to clarify this, the update that was released a couple of days ago for Torin, the 1.1.3 while important and you should update to it if you're using Torin, it's not the iOS 15 update. That one still takes some time. So, yep, that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.